Hi, in this video we're going to look at some other parameters that we can set to make some awesome animations. So far we've looked at animating position, rotation, color, and opacity. Right now we only know how to make these happen in a basic format. In addition to controlling what we animate, we can also control how we animate by setting additional parameters. Keep in mind that each parameter that we look at has a default value. If we don't specify a value for that parameter, the default value is applied. Setting some of these additional parameters is only needed when we want to override that default. We are already familiar with the from and to attributes, which set the starting and ending state of our object. You always need to set the to, and in most cases set the from. Dur is an attribute that sets the duration of an animation. You can use this to speed up or slow down the animation. Dur is measured in milliseconds, and the default value is 1000, which corresponds to one second. Okay, so let's take a look at duration in the editor. If I run now with no duration, my block takes one second to travel over there. If I go in and specify duration equal to 1000, that's 1000 milliseconds. I see I really don't see a change here. It still takes that same one second. If I wanted to go faster, I could say maybe 300. And now I'm going to see my cube slide really quickly. And if I wanted to go slower, I can add to 3000, so essentially three seconds. And I see my cube slides over slowly. Loop is used to repeat an animation. We can do this in one of two ways. First, we can specify a positive integer, which represents how many times we want to repeat the animation. For example, setting loop to 10 will repeat the animation 10 times. We can also set this value to true. Doing so repeats the animation indefinitely. OK, so now we're going to take a look at loop in the editor. So if I say loop equals 3, I'm going to see that my, my animation repeats three times. Okay. Again, I can say now loop equals true, and it's going to keep repeating indefinitely. There we go. Dur is used to specify the direction of the animation. The default value is normal, which means the animation is going to go from the from state to the to state. We can also specify reverse, which animates the object by starting at the to state and moving to the from state. When looping our animation, we have an additional option that we can use. Alternate switches the animation from normal to reverse each time. Let's take a look in the editor to get a better idea of how this works. All right, now let's look at the direction. So if I say direction equals normal, I see that my cube animates just as it's been doing. If I say reverse, I actually start at my from or at my to position and go to my from position. So again, I'm going backwards in my animation. And if I want to add a loop in here, so if I say loop equals true, and then I put direction equals alternate, then I see that my cube goes back and forth. Do you want to get creative? In addition to these attributes, you can find many others as well as examples on how to do multiple animations at the same time to an object. Head over to aframe.io and check out the documentation there.